Hey everyone, so this is the new portable DAC amp from iFi and it's the smallest one yet. I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this and tell you a little bit more about the features here. So the cool thing about the iFi Go Blue is its size and its weight. It weighs in at only 26 grams, which is less than the weight of a AA battery, if you can believe that. So the first thing we have here is the warranty information as well as the information to set up MQA. And then we have the small foldable card that acts as your manual for your Go Blue. Next in this small box, we're gonna take a look and see what we have here. So we have this very cute small carrying pouch for your Go Blue. And you're also provided with this short USB-A to USB-C cable that only powers the iFi Go Blue. All right, and it's time to unpack the iFi Go Blue itself. And here it is. Wow, so small and light. That's the first thing I could say about this product. And here it is right here. Before I continue with this video, I would like to thank iFi for sending out the iFi Go Blue for my review. This review wouldn't be possible without them. All right, I'm just admiring the aesthetics of this iFi Go Blue. And it's got a nice dark bronze brushed metal finish here. And as you can see the style on the side here, it feels so good. You hear the clicks there. Also sounds good as it's turning. It's got the iFi logo on the side here. So you may be asking what type of headphones this device is meant for. So if you're familiar with the Meze 99 Classics, that's a perfect example of what this device is good for, or these headphones have right here. These are the Sivka SB021s, also known as the Robins. They're 32 ohms. It would be perfect to pair with the iFi Go Blue. And I'll definitely give it a try with the Sivkas here. So let me tell you a little bit more about the features of the iFi Go Blue before we look into the connection ports and different buttons there are on this unit. So first of all, it has the Qualcomm QCC 5100 series Bluetooth chipset. So you will definitely be able to hook this up via Bluetooth from your laptop or smartphone. And indeed, it's meant for portable use. And talking about audio, you have the Sirius Logic CS43131 DAC chipset on this. So that's gonna provide that quality sound for you. Now, as far as Bluetooth, it does support Bluetooth 5.1 and it does support your standard Bluetooth codex. I won't go over those, but it does support some high-end audio codex and I'm gonna go over those. And for the high-end, you have Aptix Adaptive as well as Aptix HD which both support 24-bit at 48 kilohertz audio quality, as well as LDAC and HWA LHDC, which supports 24-bit, but this time up to 96 kilohertz audio quality. If you're wondering how long the battery can last on such a small unit, you'd be surprised that it can run anywhere between eight to 10 hours of battery life. So that's pretty impressive. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on your use. As far as other features you see on other iFi products, it does have the x space feature to add bass to the low end of your music, as well as the x space feature that helps widen the sound stage of your music. And one really cool thing that it also has is a built-in active noise canceling mic that you can use for your calls, voice chat for gaming, as well as to access assistance such as Siri and Google Assistant. As far as power output on the balance connection on the left here, the bigger one, the 4.4 millimeter, you have 245 milliwatts at 32 ohms or 5.6 volts at 600 ohms. For the 3.5 millimeter connection, the smaller one on the right, you have 165 milliwatts at 32 ohms or 2.8 volts at 600 ohms. As far as warranty, it comes with a standard one year warranty. Okay, so if we turn the iFi Go Blue to the left side, we will see a button here. And with this button, you long press it to power it on and off. And then you double press to set the Bluetooth format. Okay, and on the right side, you have this multi-function knob. So obviously you turn it to adjust the volume and so on. And there's also a button here that you can press. So with a short click, you can play and pause your music. With two short clicks, you can skip forward. With three short clicks, you can skip back. And with a long press, you can wake up the voice assistant. As for the third button right below the multifunction knob, it lets you cycle through the different settings such as X space and X space using a short click as well as using a long press to enable Bluetooth pairing. Okay, now on the bottom of the unit, you have a small LED and what the LED indicates is yellow for X space on, Cyan for X space on, white for X space plus X space 
both on. And finally, it will be off if all those settings are turned off. It also serves as an LED for Bluetooth. So if it's off, that means your Bluetooth is connected. If it's blue and flashing, that means it's awaiting a connection. If it's blue and red flashing, it means it's pairing. And as I mentioned before, right in the middle, you have the 4.4 Pentacon balance connection for your balance headphones or IEMs. And to the right of that, you have the 3.5 millimeter unbalanced connection. Finally, in the bottom of the unit, you have your factory reset button here. You can long press it for more than three seconds. It will factory reset your device. You have the USB-C connection so that you can connect up your smartphone via USB-C connection and get the highest quality audio through the USB-C connection wired. You also have an additional LED here that corresponds to the battery life 